What do you think of people that move here? Because you did move here, you were waiting for maybe to find another job, and they wait to be picked. It sounds like you don't wait to be picked for things, you just do them. Yeah, no. Um, people who move out here have to really have a lot of um, zeal in their heart and their spirit. They have to really go for it. Uh, you can't come out here and just kind of like do the run of the mill, the run of the mill auditions and just headshots and that you have to really find avenues to like it's like driving in traffic you got to find ways to swerve and move in and out and dip and switch lanes and get ahead of people you really have to work hard you can't wait to be picked you cannot you have to do it yourself when um, I got along the roadside when that came across to me I didn't want to just do a, a tape or a, a, a filmed audition and just read the script I wanted to shoot my audition uh, that way and then also film it like an actual scene in the movie so they can picture me in the role you know I just wanted to take a step further um, so you really have to hustle. Right. You play Varney. I play Varney. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Varney's going through some stuff. Yeah. With his girlfriend. Yeah. Var the Varney's a little bit on the run. Uh -huh. um, you know, he kind of considers himself a sailor who's left one shore, but hasn't yet reached the next. So he's still kind of floating and drifting. Um, and he's got a lot on his mind, you know, because of some things that's going on with him and his girlfriend. And uh, that takes him pretty far, or pushes him pretty far, I should say, you know, into his drift. You know, right. for someone that went to a performing arts school like you did mm. and is hoping to come out here or to, to New York and, and go on that whole like audition treadmill, I, I see it in people and I know that some days they're elated when I see them mm. and other days they seem pretty down. Yeah. So what would you say to those people like you said that you wouldn't advise someone to just stick to that audition route? If they want to say, well, I don't have a camera or I don't know how to edit with Adobe or Final Cut Pro, you know, I don't have anybody to shoot a web series with. Like, what's your, because I hear that a lot. Or when I become famous, I'm going to have people upload my stuff to YouTube, but not right now. What do you say to those people that want someone to do it for them and just want to do that normal route that a lot of us have learned, that's the way you do it? Yeah, it's, there's nothing wrong with traditional route of auditioning. I audition. You know, I love auditioning and I want to get further into that circuit and you know, because auditioning is a route that I haven't needed to use yet. Uh, but it's something now that I'm seeking after because I want to do traditional Hollywood work. Um, however, building your own audience can help get you into a lot of rooms though. I've gotten a lot of auditions just because people see me online. Um, and so what I would say to those people who don't say you don't have a camera, you don't edit, that's fine. But you can still at least, you have a phone, you know, you can take pictures and, you know, upload to Instagram or upload to Facebook or Snapchat or just anything to help build your presence online so that more eyes see you, you know. What about the people that are afraid of being too, maybe they're afraid that they're going to look too boastful to people and they don't want to be the ones promoting themselves. They want someone to promote them. It's, I mean, it, that to me sounds kind of self-defeating. You're, in, I mean, if you're going to be in an entertainment business, you have to promote. It's entertainment. So that's like, it comes in the package. You're in entertainment. You have to promote yourself. You have to um, not only audition when you're in the room, but you have to kind of audition at all times. It's like, for instance, um, a friend of mine is a fighter. And, you know, he, someone suggested that he should never drink because he's trying to get a, a new fight. And he could get a call at any moment. So at any moment, someone could come calling for me. And if I'm not on top of my game and like promoting myself and like working on my craft and just putting myself out there at all times, you know, you never know, you might miss opportunity. So um, a, a man once told me, always just be ready. Always be ready. Always be ready. Because you never know when a call's gonna come in. You never know when, a, when an audition's gonna come in. So part of that package is always promoting yourself, always being on, you know, and just being ready for that call to come in. Do you have time to hang out with friends, or are you doing more? Yes, you I do. Okay. Yeah, I have time okay. to hang out with friends. You do? Okay. I'll, I always oh. make time for leisure. Sure. A little okay. R and R. Um, <laughs> I do, but the more that I focus, though, it is it does get harder because it's like I push myself to focus more because I like to go out and, and, and party with my friends. But you have to, you got to stay focused. And the more focused I am, the harder I work. The less time I have to hang out. You know, I have to say no to parties sometimes because, you know, there's more important things to do. Do you see other people getting caught up in that? Where they want to, I mean, we all want to have a circle of friends around us, but. Yeah, it's inspiring. Uh, I do see other people get caught up in that. And it's inspiring because I have friends who are on TV and that's where I want to be. 
And you know, when they have lines to read, or if they have a, a rehearsal the next day, or if they have a show to film the next day, they don't go out. You know, and I barely see them. And then every time I do see them, they're like, I gotta go home and study lines. And while some people might think that's boring, for me that's inspiring because it's like the proof's in the pudding. They're at home working, but they're also on a TV show. So who cares about free time or who cares about going out when you can be on a show and be studying lines and living your dream?